Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Friday the 3rd of October. Thanks again for watching. Loads to tell you about today, but before I do, uh, just a reminder that we kept free of charge by you keep on coming back and using the site, watching the videos, using the charts, etc. It means we can put more adverts in front of you, and that's what generates the revenue that keeps us free of charge charge. So thank you for keep on coming back and using the site. We are a commercial organisation. This isn't a hobby site, it's a professional site, so uh, <laughs> despite what you may think. Um, so thanks for your continued support. Now a lot to talk about Japan in today's forecast um, because we've got the outlook from the Japanese Meteorological Agency, the 30-day outlook, the regular one we show you on a Friday, uh, coming up in just a moment. But also we've got typhoons in the Pacific heading for Japan too. We've got one here and then we've got another one out here that is being watched very, very carefully. Those of you who are Formula One fans will know that there's a threat of the typhoon of this one here, Fanfone, hitting the Grand Prix uh, on Sunday and um, got to say at the moment that looks likely to be fascinating to see if the Grand Prix actually goes ahead because it's uh, headed just south of Suzuka so um, it'll be interesting to see what comes of that but if we just zoom in and take a close look look you can see the well-formed eye of uh, Typhoon Fanfone but it's the one behind it that everybody is watching at the moment. This one here, because that shows signs of developing and moving in quite quickly behind Fanfone over the car. And this is the latest forecast track for Typhoon Fanfone. Um, and uh, you see it here, look, taking this track to the south of Japan and uh, this time uh, tomorrow. So when we're looking at the uh, 4th, so Saturday morning, we're looking at wind speeds forecast to be up to 145 knots. That's 160 miles per hour. So some real serious wind speeds in there and some heavy rain too. As I say, it's the one following in behind. Tropical Storm 19W at the moment, still to be named. But you can see the track that this one is forecast to take. Here it is on uh, Wednesday morning and by then it's expected to be at 130 knots and we can probably expect that to take a very similar track but notice the track I've put on there headed towards uh, Kyoto and Tokyo um, just because of the, the, the slight movement of the jet stream so we need to be watching this one very carefully as well because this could bring some very heavy rain and some very strong winds again during the end part of next week. No such worries back home, although it is going to be turning more unsettled and cooler. This is the temperature prediction for London. Temperature graph showing look, this fall off in temperatures during the course of tomorrow. So we're going to be seeing temperatures going down from, let's say, 20 degrees Celsius, probably down to nearer 15 degrees Celsius. Certainly going to be feeling more autumnal-like, and with rain coming through, and with rain, sorry, with strong winds, uh, it looks as if uh, those leaves are going to be swirling around off the trees, and it's going to be looking and feeling feeling like autumn as well. So there's chart for today, then cold front is moving its way southeast, which bringing some hefty bursts of rain across western Scotland and Ireland. That makes its way into northern England and Wales and southwest England overnight, reaching the Midlands I think by Saturday morning, and becomes quite a slow moving feature actually. I think quite a cold, dark, damp start to the day across much of uh, eastern Scotland, across much of northern England, the Midlands, southern England as well on Saturday morning. The rain will eventually be clearing away east, which should be gone from eastern coasts, I fancy, by uh, the, early, by the uh, late part of Saturday morning into the early part of Saturday afternoon. And then we find drier, brighter weather following in from the west. Now that sets us up for not too bad a day on Sunday, ridge of high pressure building to the south. It brings dry weather for southern and eastern areas, although the fronts you see here bring a tropical maritime flow uh, up western coast of the country, so clouds and some outbreaks of rain there. On Monday, another band of rain forecast to go eastward, some of it quite heavy, strong winds ahead of it, gusty winds as well. So as I say, it's going to be dark, it's going to be damp, and it's going to be looking like autumn. Some heavy showers and brighter weather following in behind. And then another hit of rain coming in during the course of Tuesday, and strong winds once again. That gets replaced by showers, some of them quite heavy during Wednesday. Uh, most of them out towards the west, eastern areas tending to be a little drier some heavy showers there. Okay, so this is what the Japanese output looks like just at the moment. This is the week one forecast taking us up to next Thursday. So this is taking us up to the uh, 9th of October. And, uh, well, I would hardly be surprised to know big trough west of the UK, low pressure, showing the unsettled conditions. 
Now, despite it being cooler than it has been recently, it's going to be fairly mild. This is predicted uh, model temperature for the next week. If I just zoom in there for you, you can see there the UK staying under the sort of um, yellowy sort of colour. So temperatures around to just above normal. A few blue spots showing in there across Ireland, across parts of Wales. So a little bit chillier than normal there, but generally temperatures near normal for the time of year. Now, week two, which takes us from the 10th of October through to the 16th. And um, here the Japanese going for the trough, still being to the west. But look, they're trying to build this ridge back into the east. Now, if you're watching the videos through the week, you'll know this has been a familiar theme, this idea of the ridge trying to get back in from the, from the east. And it's something that was shown up in the analogues as well. Uh, ECMWF has been going for it. The GFS, the uh, sorry, the CFS Ensemble has been going for it as well. So what it tends to do is to try and pull this trough back. So it tries to pull the trough back into the west, and that's where probably the more unsettled conditions are. We may well see things settling down off towards the east for a short time. However, um, what I would stress with this one is that. Um, <laughs> It may well be that this high takes time to get in. So it may be that actually the unsettled conditions hang around for the majority of the country, although the east could be drier. And what I think will happen is that the ridge will get back westwards eventually, but I think it's going to be late in the week. I've set this date of the 17th for looking for this improvement, this drier weather getting in, and I'm still going to stick with that for now. And in fact, the 17 to 30 days, so this one is going from the 17th through to the uh, 31st of October. This one's showing that the ridge still out towards the west, the trough out towards the east, so it's kind of got that sort of pattern going through. And what this one does is it shows the ridge trying to get back in, and I think this is probably believable across eastern and southern areas. It's got the trough still affecting the west of Ireland and the west of Scotland, bringing some outbreaks of rain and showers there. And again, that looks a reasonable solution. But what I think will tend to happen is that this high will try to get back in and may become dominant for, let's say, 80% of the country. Although always those western coasts, particularly Ireland and western Scotland, at risk of some rain. But generally, this is a mild pattern again. And it's highlighted if we look at the uh, temperature anomalies for the 17 to 30 day period. And there it is, look, these yellow colours showing temperatures of at least 2 degrees Celsius above normal. And that seems to be a reasonable solution to me from the Japanese model. So for now then we'll stick with the forecast theme of this improvement taking place after the uh, 17th. We'll keep an eye on that one, of course, for you. Um, at the moment, it looks like it's most of the UK that sees it, but uh, Western Ireland, Western Scotland may well see more in the way of cloud and some outbreaks of rain at times coming from that. But of course, we'll keep you updated right through, as indeed we will, about Typhoon Fanfone and Typhoon 19W, which is following in behind. But for now, whatever you're doing, have a fantastic day. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.